Hi, my name is Dave, and today I'll be demonstrating how easy it is to add functionality or more form elements to a dynamic form built by robot. We'll be basing this change that we're going to do on the use change of circumstance banking demonstration that you may have seen before. Firstly, I'm going to start a robotic process. We'll log in. Edit the change of circumstance form. Go through the security validation. Validating the security questions in the background. And here we see the customer's bank details form. And what we're going to do is add a multi line address field here. So to do that, we'll stop our process. And we're simply going to drag an action into my form. I'm going to call this address. Select from our pre-canned business objects and select a text model field. Let's label this. Give it an ID. Simply drag and drop. And the value is obtained from the demo banking app, which is an access database form. It's read only to false, multi line to true, and visible to true. On the outputs, just simply drag and drop again. And that's it. If you OK that, link it up. Save. and rerun. And now, if we log in, we go through the security verification process. Dynamic form has been generated in a minute, and you'll see the step it passes over of the recently added address field. It's building the form with our change. And there you have it. Fully implemented multi-line address field. And it comes with all the usual niceties you'd expect from a good web app, resizable, and if it's on a mobile phone, it scales appropriately. That brings to the end of this particular demo. Thank you very much for watching.